a quick show and tell um, in the Makerspace channel on the Galaxy's Edge Discord server. Lord Vok asked a question, which was, could you power something from the personality chip socket? Uh, personality chips run off of 3.3 volts, so that's enough to at least power an LED. Can you? Well, I put something together real quick. I took a blank personality chip, added the LED, a resistor to limit current, and I have cut the trace in the middle there. I'll explain why in a minute. Plug that in, turn it on, and yeah, absolutely. You have an LED powered from the personality chip socket of your droid. So then, of course, the next question is, well, what else can I power? Could I, say, put a USB socket in here and charge my phone off of it? Spoiler alert, the answer is no. As I just said, it's running off of 3.3 volts. That's not enough. You need 5 volts to charge your phone, so... The answer is no, but if I plug this little USB adapter thing in here to tell me the voltage and current running through that socket, you can see I'm getting a three and a half volt. So you could probably power something off of that with a USB connector, but you're not going to charge your phone off of it. You need five volts for your phone, which coincidentally, there is a five volt voltage regulator in here that takes the battery power and brings it down to five volts, and that's used to power the LEDs in the head. You could tap off of that and hook up a USB socket, and yeah, you could absolutely charge your phone off of your droid. Uh, you might not get much of a charge off of it, but it'd be an interesting little uh, mod. Maybe that's something I'll try in the future, but for now we're just focusing on the... Oh, that's interesting what you can do with a personality chip socket. So let me put this back in, demonstrate why I cut the trace on the other one. Uh, so this is on, and this is, my remote is on. If I make noise here, if I press the noise buttons, I mean, nothing happens. If I pull the chip out, it makes noise. I put the LED one in. Oh, am I shorting something? I bet you I am. Again, this was put together very quickly. So again, with the uh, blue, with the LED uh, chip in there, it works fine. It makes the noises with the blue USB socket. It doesn't. Why? It's because I cut that trace. Power to the chip comes through this VCC pin. And you can see the trace goes up into the middle and then down through the middle pin. That middle pin is how the droid detects when a personality chip has been inserted. If it detects power on that pin, it knows that there's a personality chip, and it will start sending commands to the personality chip to uh, read back audio and, and start playing it over its speakers. But there is no personality chip here, so when I plug this in, it thinks that there's a personality chip. It'll send commands to it, but because it gets nothing back, the droid is silent. <laughs> so, there's a tip. If you want a silent droid, uh, just order a batch of personality chip PCBs and stick a blank one in there. Last but not least, I took one of my personality chips, fully populated, and retrofitted it with this little LED mod. It's a 3mm red LED a 1 kilo ohm surface mount resistor and it works fine focus and now the question is why on a BB unit this mod doesn't make any sense the reason being it's encased in the shell so you can't see what this is doing it doesn't really do much for you the other reason not to do this with a BB droid is when this turns off uh, after a few minutes of inactivity, because you're not using it with your remote anymore, even though the droid is, in quotation marks, off, it's actually still on, power is still going to the circuit, power is still going to that socket, that LED is still on. If you forget that it's in there, then you're going to be losing, that's about 1.5 milliamps, that will slowly drain the power from your batteries. And over time, you know, maybe 
I have no idea how long it would take to drain, probably months, but it's still wasting electricity, so that's why I suggest this is not something for BB droid owners. Uh, for our unit droids, though, yeah, absolutely, because that socket's right in the front. You've got the door covering the socket. You could, you could take that door off and, I don't know, attach a... Uh, an LED in there and make a new accessory. You could piggyback. You could take a personality chip with an, uh, an LED on it or something else to make it a personality chip with an accessory or an accessory with a personality. The the sky's the limit on things you could probably do with that. Um, the voltage regulator that powers the 3.3 volts that goes to all the stuff in here, all the all the microcontrollers and the memory chip on the personality chip there. That's rated at 300 milliamps. So if you do try to use this as a power source for something, uh, make sure the power draw is relatively low. Uh, I think capping it at 50 milliamps is probably more than an, uh, what you should be shooting for. You could probably go up to a couple hundred milliamps and get away with it, but I wouldn't. I would stick to a very low current application. But anyways, there you go. There are... Now, new range of possibilities. There, there is now a new range of possibilities to mod your droids. And now I'm going to go learn how to speak proper English.